Hello welcome back to Excel Mind. In today's video we'll learn to create pivot table and with help of pivot we'll create a dashboard. On our screen you can see we already had our dummy data ready for pivot and before we move to create pivot we'll transfer our data into table format. To add table go to insert and click table button. Under pop-up screen you can see data range has already been pulled. But it's always good to cross check. If your data had header, then mark the checkbox and hit OK. One of the benefits is you can change the format from Design tab. You get multiple options to change. And other one is whenever you add anything to data, it will be automatically added to table no need to change the range of pivot or reformat the additional data. You can see even the formula get dragged down when we just added data in first cell. Now we'll add the pivot to our data. To add, go to Insert and click Pivot tab. Under New pop-up, you can see instead of range, a table has been pulled. We got a name over here, so no need to change range of pivot. When you add new data, it will be auto-fetched. Then you have an option where you want pivot. You can click on New Worksheet or Existing. We will have on new worksheet and then click OK. New sheet will be created. You can name it anything. We had named it Pivot T. On left side, you can see pivot area where data will be shown. And when you click on pivot area on left side, you will get an edit option. If you don't get right side edit option or you close the edit option by mistake, don't worry we have an option to get that back. You just have click on pivot area on right side and you will see two tabs at top bar. Analyze and Design. Click on Analyze and click Filed List. You can see we got our edit option back. And on this, we have multiple option just have to drop the heading on right side. From drop down, you can even change the interface and get one of your choice. Now our first option is filter. To add filter, you just have to right click on any heading, drag and drop on filter window. You can see you got filter on Excel sheet. Then another one is row. Follow the same. Right click, drag, and drop under row window. You will see data has been placed in row format. You can drop multiple option under that. And it will place then in row format on sheet. You can even change the heading how you want your data to be visible by changing its alignment. Here we won team then under that it's agent. So, we have kept team heading first then under it agent. And then next one is column. If you want data in horizontal way, then use column. We want our data in row format, so we have kept heading under row. Now lastly is the value and you can drop your data under value window. And we will drop our agent target under this. You can see on screen value has been added against each agent. Even for the team Excel has added the total count of target for team. Here you can see they have given us the sum of target. Now we'll add the target, achieved count below that and on screen you can see, it has been placed next to, target. 
And next we'll add the percentage. On screen, you can see they have given us the sum, but we want percentage. And to do that change. Click on small drop arrow on percentage heading. Then click field setting. Under the pop window. Click on average. Then click format tab. Under format click percentage, then OK. Click OK again. Now you got the correct format on screen. Now click on filter and hit the checkbox to use the filter to change the data. If you don't want filter, you just have to drag the filter heading out from the filter window. Now we'll learn how we can add button instead of filter. Go to Analyze. Then click Insert Slicer. Then under New Pop-up Window. Click any of the checkbox for which you want buttons. We will add for Teams. You can change the size of screen. And now when you click any of the team button your data will be filtered as per your selection. To undo the selection, click on the filter icon on top right side. You can even select multiple teams by holding right click. We can add multiple slicers of different heading. To add another, repeat the step. Go to Analyze tab, then click Insert Slicer. Select any heading of your choice will add slicer for team, then hit OK. And if you add a duplicate or want to delete the slicer, then right-click on Slicer and click Delete option. So, this time let's add one with another heading. Team, Slicer. You can even change the style of button. By right, click on Slicer. Then click, Size and Properties. On right side click on Position and Layout. Under Number of Columns change the number to make the changes on your slicer. You can do the same for another slicer by just clicking on that slicer. You can see each slicer is connected to each other. If you click on any team, then that team member will be filtered on other slicer. And same is other way round. If you click on any team member, then his team will be filtered on team slicer. Now let's add timeline. You can add timeline only when you have date range on your data. And to add go to Analyze, then click Timeline option. Here you will get only heading which include dates. Click on checkbox and hit OK.
Click on any month to get the data filtered. You can change the style color to match it with the slicer. To do that click on Format tab and select any of your choice. You can change the slicer format too. You just have to click on Slicer and from Format tab change the style. You have the option to match the slicer with your pivot table and to change pivot table format. Click on Pivot then Format tab from top and select the format of your choice. To remove the grid line, click on View and uncheck the grid line option so that it looks more presentive. Place the slicer in presentive way. Now let's add chart bar to our pivot. Go to insert and click any of the chart bar of your choice. You can remove any of the heading form chart area to by right click and remove field. And remove or add any label by clicking plus sign. Now let's do some check. Whenever you click any button on Slicer, your chart will adopt the change along with Pivot Table. If you want you can change the style or add data label of chart from Design tab. In this way, you can add multiple charts to your sheet and create a dynamic dashboard. Or you can create one on fresh sheet. In our next video, we'll learn to create dashboard on fresh sheet by combining our previous speedometer chart then pivot slicer. Thank you for watching Excel Mind. Do subscribe for more tutorial.